Hello everybody. Well, we are heading toward the middle of uh, November. Uh, it's probably, I don't know, 8th or 9th right now. But we're going to take a look at the uh, the garden here real quick. And uh, it's not much longer. It's really going to get cold. But let's take a look. We've got about 14 fruit trees. Uh, we did have a pomegranate that got killed when a big uh, tree came down on top of it and split in half. So we'll have to replace that. All right. This is an olive tree. Okay, and this particular one is an Arbutuda or something like that. Uh, you can get it from Stark Brothers online. Okay, and you've got an apricot tree right there. You've got a, a giant Asian pear type thing right here. You'll see strawberries all over the place. You got some goji berries. And various herbs, a uh, little baby orange tree, peach tree, another peach tree. This is a uh, bubblegum palm, right here. We have a uh, Chicago fig. This is a uh, cherry tree, and um, produce those cherries. They get kind of a uh, reddish and then gold. Okay. All right, you can see where I've uh, pulled out the remnants of old tomato plants and pepper plants and cucumbers and all that kind of stuff. And um, I'm mulch this all down. I got one of those, uh, actually a couple different type of mulchers. Uh, mechanized and uh, and we got the uh, little barrel thing back there so and as you can see looking around there's absolutely no shortage of stuff to uh, mulch down and it still hasn't all come down so all right we got ourselves a apple tree this is one of these apple trees that uh, has two different types of apples on it so all right this is a methylly plum. All right. All right. Nectarine. We got a kiwi vine. All right, this one was pink lemonade uh, bushes. Gooseberries. What you're looking at here is uh, my homemade drip irrigation system. Uh, I'm taking it apart now because it's really getting sharply cold here very quickly. But uh, I have a rain point uh, controller out in front and a water pipe or hose takes it back here. And the water goes into the barrel and distributes through the uh, various hoses and stuff and whatnot. Here's another pear tree. This one was really big ones, but uh, it's only in year two, so I imagine it won't produce for a little bit longer yet. All right. Here is a grapevine. There's a two Concord vines and a green grape up in here. And like I said, you see strawberries uh, scattered all over the place, and they really produce. As far as these grape vines, what I do every year is I trim back about 90% of all the new growth otherwise it'll get so long that uh, the roots won't be able to support the, the growth anymore so but that's what we're up to now is just uh getting all this debris picked up as much as we can because like i said it's still coming down and uh it's supposed to be uh, quite warm up to tomorrow and then uh it's really gonna drop out and, and being that uh, this is Zone 8B, uh, Southeast Virginia, we're near Norfolk, uh, actually located in the city of Newport News. Okay. And uh, I try to keep all my fruit trees uh, down to, you know, seven or eight feet. That way it's easy to, you know, uh, pick stuff. 
but uh, this uh, fig tree, Chicago fig tree, did and it uh, suffered a hit from a big limb, and it smushed it flat. But I did a little surgery on it, and it's now almost like a ground crawler. But yeah, it produced last year. So, um, the pomegranate tree, like I said, it got killed, but we'll replace that. And, the uh, blue blueberries, they got ate up by some type of a uh, fungus. So we'll uh, probably replace those. But let me show you what we do here. We got a lot of high winds here. And I take old pieces of uh, garden hose and then run it around the tree. That way you know, nothing's rubbing and won't damage it. And then we wire it to a metal pole. And uh, let me show you what happens when uh with the high winds here it's evidence of what this pole and uh garden hose system does you'll see the lean and uh like i said the wind really gets a crazy we're here on the coast yeah i hear you birdie and uh for the next uh few weeks until all this uh, tree and yard debris, everything gets uh, all down on the ground. I'll be raking and sending through the uh, mulchers. And like I said, I've got two uh, mechanized ones. And here's a bubblegum plum, a toka plum. So it had, did not produce last year, but it's only what coming up on the second year. This is my junk pile. All right, but here is your your tumbler, and so put your loads of goodies uh, through the door there, and then come out and keep it moist, and you you know turn it. Um, I guess I showed you a little orange tree and. Here's a trail cam. I don't know whether you guys have uh, watched any of the uh, night videos where I've captured the possum and the raccoon and the bunny rabbit and uh, cats and everything. But uh, it can get quite lively up in here. All right. And here is uh, the source of uh, all those bird bath videos. And you see a Wi-Fi, sorry, Burton, or Dove, <laughs> uh, trail cam, and uh, him some nuts, and give him water every day. And uh, you see there's absolutely no shortage of uh, leaves and twigs and, and everything coming down. Definitely uh, stay busy. Um, these uh, wire panels, cattle panels, whatever you want to call them. Um, I use them to hold the tomato plants up and for things to, you know, climb on and stuff. But this is the garden, and um, I'm going to expand the uh, drip irrigation system next year, so uh, not such a big major effort to uh, water things and, uh, you know, kind of been running like little furrow systems in places that I didn't have the drip irrigation. But, and before it gets too much windier, we'll uh, take that piece of hose there and uh, attach it around the old methylene plum tree here. And uh, there are uh, those thorn blackberries all over the place, and things are diabolical, but they sure produce some good stuff. Then, okay, let me show you one other thing real quick. I don't know whether you've ever heard the term coppiced, C-O-P-P-I-C-E-D, I guess that's how you spell it. Anyway, uh, you can see how the fence is leaning. The wind really get the get the jumping. So. I noticed, I uh, saw some videos a long time ago of what they do in the UK, and I coppice this thing. You cut it and bend it, but you don't go all the way through. 
and see how that is in there and then you kind of lay it sideways and that tree will grow sideways and uh, creates a natural barrier and it, it helps hold this fence up and you know if you didn't have a fence there but this could almost actually be a fence itself I mean can you imagine trying to get you climb through that so all right everybody but uh, we're approaching peak leaf color Thanksgiving is uh, what two weeks away I guess and all that uh leaf matter and grass and the leftovers of the tomato plants peppers cucumbers all that'll be run through my little mulching uh, systems and we'll turn the soil over and get all that good uh, debris in there and I actually still do a regular compost pile just you know throw it on the ground turn it over the pitchfork keep it moist and whatnot um, the Asparagus, I'm gonna have to probably replace it because there's only I had a whole uh, layer row of it, but um, looks like only one plant that is still producing, so we'll get that uh, done. And but pretty much everything out here produced except for the apple tree did not produce this year, and the pear tree over there, and that olive tree has not yet, and the plum. Um, in the coming year or two, like I said, a pomegranate tree will get replaced. Uh, we'll try our hand at blueberry bushes again. I don't know kind of fun to say, well, as it killed them, but the, the pink lemonade one uh, made it just fine. And we had a pretty good crop of strawberries this year. Matter of fact, a really good crop. But, so, welcome to fall in southeast Virginia, zone 8B. All right, everybody, take care. Oh, yeah, one last thing before you go. Thank you, Bertie. I hear you. This is what we use for uh, grinding up all them sticks, old son Joe, and then we have a works uh, leaf mulcher. And um, back there in the corner back there is a, another works uh, mulcher uh, type thing, kind of like a a tri -back thing you can see it back in there and it will suck up gumballs and everything else and just pulverize them and uh and just in case let's see here um uh, i know some people have asked what is a gumball gumball that's what that is Getting ready to restring the uh, old lawn chair. Good frame. Just uh, sat outside for so long it just fell apart. And uh, if you try to hunt or shop for stuff like that these days, it's uh, they're they're quite quite expensive. But anyway, like I said, nice fall day.